Hello there everyone, this is Brother Birch. In this video, we will be introducing the stretch challenges for the week two team activity. Okay, uh, please make sure everyone on the team, even though you're doing this assignment by yourself this week, is caught up with the concepts of the core requirements before moving on to these challenges. Okay, so make sure you got this going well before you do anything else. Okay, we ended our, our walkthrough video of this uh, a moment ago, and now we're going to introduce these. So let's check this out. Repeat the previous step, changing the background color to the value in the box, but this time use jQuery instead of vanilla JavaScript. Okay, so to use jQuery, you'd have to either download a jQuery file or use something like this. So let's see here. I can grab this and it shows the exact JavaScript that I need. Uh, to reference in my in my index file .html file to actually use it. Okay, you can just like, copy that, throw it in there, and then you can start using uh, the basic jQuery stuff. Okay, which should be fine for this, I imagine. Okay, so do that. Change the background color, the value in the box with jQuery. Uh, add another button to toggle the visibility of the third div. Use jQuery to make it slowly fade in and out, rather than just turning on and off. Okay. So what I would do once you have jQuery working in here, uh, just Google, you know, uh, jQuery uh, fade, fade in, fade out, and you'll get lots of stuff coming up, okay? And then the last one, try out Bootstrap. Use Bootstrap styles to make it so that your three divs look nice and respond well when the pages are sized. So if I go, pretty sure there's a link in there, oh well. Okay, so Bootstrap. You can look at this, uh, to, you can download it. It'll give you a big old zip file for it. Or um, let's see what happens if we click on get started. Here we go. So, or you can just include some links like this. All right, this is good for what we're doing for this class. Uh, anytime you have like a massive project that you wanna use, you wanna make sure to download these things um, just so that you're not dependent on anybody else's servers, okay? Because yeah, sometimes things go down and it's not your fault. And so if you have them downloaded and it's in your application, then you'll never have an issue with that. Okay. But for this, I would say just, just copy these things, copy these JavaScript ones. And uh, yeah, here it even has like a starter template, which we wouldn't use, but you could definitely, you know, copy this stuff and this right here, and then you can start using Bootstrap. Okay. And if I looked at Bootstrap, I could, you know, see what an input looks like. These inputs look really nice, not those just ugly pointy boxes that are the default inputs. And, and it gives you the code to use these, okay? In addition, um, there's also really good scaling as far as uh, how responsive your web pages are, which is really nice. You know, if I hit F12 right now to open up my developer tools, you can see all this is still really pretty. I don't have like inputs coming off the page, you know, uh, and that's, an amazing thing about Bootstrap is that it makes that relatively easy to do. Okay, uh, so those are the three stretch challenges. Uh, if you have any questions about how to get started on those, uh, just let me know. But I hope this video was helpful.